everyone, it's Miss Wright. I hope you all enjoyed the superworm story and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own sock superworm. So what you're going to need is some old socks. I've got some pairs of socks here to fill my superworm up with as well but if you don't have lots of old socks you could use shredded paper or old newspaper instead but you need at least one old sock. I've got a pen and some paper or you could use some googly eyes instead. I have some scissors, I have a glue stick or you could use sellotape. I have some string that I have already cut into little strips here or you could use elastic bands. And I've got some stickers to decorate my worm with at the end or you could use sequins, you could use ribbons or you could use colouring pens and paints, it's up to you. Let's get started. First, I'm going to take my sock and I need to fill it until it is nice and squishy. So I'm going to use all of my old socks now to fill this sock up. And if you have tissue paper or newspaper or shredded paper, then you can fill your worm with that instead. But I'm using old socks because I don't need them anymore. I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top until it's nice and full. And you want him to be nice and firm but still a little bit squishy. There we go, I think he's nice and firm now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my string or my elastic band and I am going to tie the end up so that the stuffing doesn't come out. So you might need an adult to help you with this, but that's okay. I'm gonna make a nice knot with my string. And hopefully that won't come open. If you've got some string left over, you can take your scissors and you can snip the string at the end. Okay, so now I've got the shape of my superworm. Next, I need to make some eyes for my superworm. If you have some goggly eyes at home, you can use goggly eyes, but I don't have any at home. So I'm going to use some paper and a pen to draw some eyes. How many eyes do I need? Fantastic, two eyes. And I'm going to my, make my eyes look a little bit crazy. So there are my eyes. Now I'm going to use my scissors to cut my eyes out. All the way around, there's one. There's two eyes. My paper down here, and now I need to use my glue to stick my eyes onto the superworm's head. So decide where you'd like to put your eyes, where his face is going to be, and then you need quite a lot of glue so that it sticks to the sock. And then one. So my superworm now has some eyes. Okay, and now for the fun part, I'm going to decorate my superworm. So I've got lots of stickers here, but as I said before, you can use anything you like to decorate. So I would like mine to be a stripy superworm. So I'm going to stick some stripes on all the way around. So here is my stripy superworm. Now see if you can have a go at making your own superworm at home. Maybe you could try to retell the story using your superworm. And don't forget to take a picture and pop them on tapestry so that we can see. Have lots of fun. See you next time.